Hey, welcome back to Cab's Kitchen. Today, we're gonna to teach you how to make a really good eggplant Parmesan, one of my favorites. Isn't that a crazy food? Why would you name this eggplant? Actually, the name came from the 1700s. An eggplant in Europe, back in those days, it were actually kind of a whitish yellow and about the size of a goose egg. So they called it an eggplant. I don't know how it got to this shape. But you may not know this, but an eggplant's actually a fruit. It's a member of the berry family, you can tell by the color. And it's super good for you, it's wonderful to eat, and I find most people have never even tried it before. Remember to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button if you like what we're making today. So let me teach you how to do a really good eggplant Parmesan. Let's get cooking. So go ahead and wash your eggplant and cut off the top. Now you can peel the eggplant if you want or you can leave the peel on, it's up to you. I tend to do a little both. Maybe I'm just a fan of stripes, I don't know. But cut your eggplant into strips or pieces of about a half an inch thick so they'll cook properly. Next, take them, lay it on a paper towel, add a little salt on top. What this is gonna do is it's gonna pull out any bitterness that might be in there, any excess moisture. Let them sit for about 20 minutes and put them in a colander. Give those things a shower until they're squeaky clean and we'll go ahead and pat them dry after that. So we're gonna make our batter. Now I'm gonna use a half a cup of just all-purpose flour. Then we'll go ahead and use a half a cup of panko. And finally, a half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs. It's gonna give it a great flavoring. So go ahead and mix those together. Once you've done that, we're gonna take a couple eggs and two tablespoons of water and we'll whisk those together. And don't be shy, put a good heavy coating of oil on the bottom. I used a little coconut oil today because you wanna be able to fry these up. So put your pan onto high. This is a 12 inch skillet here. Go ahead and take your eggplant and coat it in your eggs and then put it in the batter. Get a nice even coating on there and lay them in your pan. Once you got that filled up, go ahead and put the lid on. I'm gonna leave that cover for about three minutes on a good high heat. Spray a little oil on the other side after you flip them. And we're gonna repeat this process a couple of times till you get that nice, crisp, light brown coating Take my nine by 13 jelly roll pan and I'm gonna use about a cup of a marinara sauce. This is the homemade marinara sauce. If you don't know how to make it homemade, watch my video on stovetop lasagna. It'll show you how, but you can use any marinara sauce you like. Next, we're gonna add a mozzarella cheese. Gotta make these things good and cheesy. Once you've done that, a little sprinkle of Parmesan cheese over the top as well. Go ahead and put them in your oven. We've preheated it to 400 degrees, and all you need to do is cook it for 12 minutes. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna grab my fresh basil. I'm gonna do a little chiffonade cut on them. What you do is you take your, your basil, put a few leaves together, just roll them up tight like a little cigar, and cut them into little strips just like this. Okay, after 12 minutes is up, go ahead and pull it out, add the basil to the top, and you wanna let this thing rest for just about three minutes but you wanna serve it while it's hot. And this is a beautiful, easy eggplant Parmesan. Mm, it's one of my favorites. Okay, let's see if this is any good. I love it when it's a little bit crispy, a little chewy from the cheese. Mm. Now there's no excuse. If you've never had eggplant Parmesan, or if you haven't made it like this, run to the grocery store and get your eggplant. It's really easy and it's good. It's really good. I actually like this over chicken Parmesan. So go out and make it, subscribe to our channel, click the like button, share this with all your friends. Also, thank you to 360 Cookware for sponsoring our show. We do appreciate you. Go to 360 Cookware and get yourself some really good cookware. Your food is only as good as your cookware, so make sure you get it right. See you next time.